Well, hello and welcome. We are live from our studios in Auckland Park, Johannesburg. I am Liesl Wilson. We'll see, it's an exciting day, obviously, for the country at large. The Zulu Nation celebrating the Umkosi Womklanga uh, or Redance, as it's loosely translated. Lots of colourful visuals coming through, festivities down in KZN. What's been a highlight for you so far? Um, the first read being um, um, presented to the king. Yes. And you know, um, it is a first uh, red dance ceremony that is hosting as the new king of Amazon. Yeah, absolutely. And we just saw those visuals live mm -hmm. on our screens now. In fact, mm -hmm. Lazi Zulu mm -hmm. was the maiden that initiated handing over the first uh, read. We know that that's an ongoing celebration that is currently taking place. And we'll continue to bring you live coverage here on the SABC. As we've seen throughout the day, traditional Zulu songs are dominating. This is maidens are singing and dancing at the Enyogeni Palace in Guanongoma in northern KwaZulu Natal. Mm -hmm. Ruth, and then, uh, there's Zulu a lot songs. there's the Zulu songs. So the obviously songs. people want to understand what is being said, you know, as we translate it perhaps um, for those who have been anglicized and don't really understand, you know, Zulu. But it's the 38th redance, uh, Umkosi Womklanga. Mm. And uh, it's rather significant, significant rather. We know that we just came on the back of a COVID-19 pandemic, which impacted the manner in which this was mm. ideally have kept, been uh, carried it, out. It, it took a break for two, for, for two years mm. after the uh, COVID-19 and uh, the, 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 the Zulu red dance was reintroduced by the late uh, Amazulu king, King uh, Zulitin um, Zulu, in the 1980s. You know, uh, the, the red dance is very important in, um, in the Zulu culture. Um, it shows uh, the strength, it, it shows hope because the maidens um, are the hope of each and every nation. Uh, if a nation has maidens, it means that, you know, it's going forward. The future is bright for them. Well, there's obviously been a lot of, uh, you know, questions about the practices as well um, in 2022, you know, looking at the significance of this um, dance and also perhaps whether some of the, uh, you know, question marks and some of the practices that are carried out, in particularly related to the virginity testing amongst other, um, you know, uh, parts that, that are unfolding. So we'll continue to unpack that. We obviously have, are joined by cultural experts mm. throughout the day. Our reporters, Jay Lee Pulsa and Bongani Gemma are live in Nongoma and they will be bringing us the latest there um, mm. as it unfolds. And we've, we've seen, you know, um, the, 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 the singing, the dance, mm. the, uh, the traditional prayer, uh, which is called uh, Utuga uh, Amakosi. We saw uh, the praise singer of the late king, Ubuze uh, Jenim Leje. We've seen Okokozile, you know, praising uh, the, the kings, the previous kings and the recent king. So um, mm. you cannot live out uh, um, uh, praise singing and uh, um, uh, war songs, amahubo, yes. when you host such uh, events. Yeah. It's very important. Absolutely. Yeah. You raised a very touching point. I mean, it's King Missy Zulu Kazuelatini's first official Mkosi um, Wonklanga. Um, you know, redance that that's that's taking place as uh, as it is your culture. Yeah. And uh, you know, you mentioned the pride that it really instills, the hope that it has as well for the future of the of the nation. Perhaps also um, what it signifies going forward. What what does this moment mean for you, being part of history as we speak? <laughs> Uh, you know, let me just tell you this. I'm just looking forward for the coronation of the new king. Okay. And this is uh, a precursor for me um, um, to the coronation of the new king. And it happens, you know, um, after the commotion and misunderstanding um, at um, 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 Enyogeni, you know, uh, the reports that the red dance is not going to be hosted at uh, Enyogeni, and then some yes. mentioning Kwakangela Makengani. And thank you very much to Prince uh, Tulani Zulu for clarifying that, that those were fake news. News, you know yeah well we will continue to to also monitor you know what the different factions are also going to represent you know within the uh, Zulu kingdom this is we obviously understand that there are interesting dynamics unfolding on that front but I am uh, aware that Jade Lee Pulsa is uh, live and she's ready to chat to us Jade good afternoon thank you for joining us once again earlier on you just uh, wrapped up in terms of um, having seen the maidens you know um, making their way down to the stadium what is happening on your end? I see 
with you. A lot of beautiful maidens uh, surrounding you. I must say, Jade is looking very, very nice. Look Dashing, at the attire, Jade. you know. The beads, the important or importance of, uh, of beads in this kind of uh, ceremonies, you know. Hello, Jayel. Welcome. Welcome. Well, a very good afternoon, Lizelle, and a very good afternoon to the viewers back at home. And yes, there's still a hive of activity here at the Royal Palace. There are still groups of maidens that are coming through to give their redance to His Majesty. jovial but this group in particular is all the way from Eswatini now you would know that the Reed dance has been for two years now not actually yeah, no for two years not taking place oh. because of COVID-19 pandemic yeah. but it has been in existence since 1984 actually <laughs> but let's speak to the maiden leader Cindy Nkosi Kamalo thank you so much for joining us Cindy all the way from Miss Watini tell us how it feels <laughs> tell us how it feels to be back here in Ongoma okay hello everyone I will talk with it Sizulu. Okay. I feel like happy, happy, happy to be back again. I'm Shangeni. Okay, I mean, I'm Cindy Nkosi, Oshatega Kumalo. So I'm, I was born from Eswazini. So here in South Africa, now I stay here. Then we've joined Amachichi Mpela and Poko Sangweni from Tembisa Midrand. So the group, I think uh, it's 20 years now. For 20 years, and it's so nice to be here. It's very nice. I'm, I'm proud of the girls. I'm so proud. Of I'm so proud. Lana gets in Lana Emma Chichin and Pella Cinnamon Tombazana, Anga Botisha, Anga Poisa, Sugana Wawa, Amantombazana, Ami, Aya Funda, as Missella, Amantombazana, Ami, Aya Tanda, Ugustina, Ubtombi Bab, Nkalabase, Elo. Tembisa, Springs, Takane, Tutuza. I'm here for Nina, guys. Selkot Estate, I'm here for Nina. Yeah. I'm, here. I'm representing Springs. And the Ukoko Sangweni, Tembisa, Midrand. So, Gumnandu, Ugubale Group, Umtana, Umleta, Angega, Uze, Uze, Sole, Umzan, Ukoko, Uyazipana, Ukoko, Umtana, Omenziga, Ukoko, Uyamzipa, Ukoko, Nibabon, and Janan, Nababula, Ukoko, Yabazi, Uyakondisa, Nukoko Sangen, Yamtan, Nukoko Sangen, and Nati Sip, Mapanti, Waka, Usifundisa, Okulu, Sikudisa, Abantuan, and Nendela, Ogui, Esi, Tola, Gui, Ukoko Sangen, but in Dela, Ya. Yaziwa Abapambi, Gumela Sitolo Uluaz, Gubantu Abapambi, Uguze Nati Sikulise in Gane Zetu, Nendela Oguio, says his name is into a corner. We are like it was Nina Nilan, Abanya Bantana, like Bachelema Pipin right now, Abanya Bantana, like Babemina Upe right now, but Nina Nilaki, I'm so happy Ubana in Tombi Ezinga, in Tangitana Kulus Puma Eko, but a poly Agna in Tombi. Thank you so much for talking to us. Well, that was Cindy Ngozi Kumalo, the maiden leader from Eswatini, talking to us and also reaffirming her stance with these young maidens, saying that, you know, this is a time now for purity as well as social ills. And she's very proud of this group. Now, you would know if you've been following the redance throughout the morning. It's not only groups from across the country, but it's also groups from outside of our lands, which makes the ceremony such a beautiful event. Liesl, it's back to you. All right, thank you so much, Jade, for that update. Jade Lee Pulsa, Bongani Gemma, doing an amazing job in Nongoma, bringing us the latest um, as it's unfolding. Live visuals on your screens right now, um, obviously, as, as the maidens are uh, making their way through to the stadium after... Um, being handed over the, the reeds and, and let's see what, what, what um, transpires from here and to as well as they get there. The lady the, that uh, Jade was talking to um, yeah. is one of the leaders of uh, Ama Maidens. Uh, they call them Opegeni Beintombi. Let's appreciate these women because they make sure Guti, Labantwana Laba, they are safe from Johannesburg, from yes. KwaZulu Natal, from the Eastern Cape, from all over the country. They make sure Guti, they've got transport. They make sure that uh, they are safe mm -hmm. and uh, Umzwile, you heard her when she when she was talking about uh, pinching. Uh, you know, pinching yes. meaning uh, discipline. Whenever they try to uh, misbehave, they're going to be disciplined.
I, I'm looking at the attire and the colors that have uh, been displayed throughout the, the morning today. And I, I wonder, I mean, we do have our cultural expert in Dela and Jangase who's going to be unpacking a lot for us. But, Bruce, in your experience, what do the different colors mean, particularly in relation to the areas you're from, perhaps your age, etc.? How would that maybe, factor Maybe in? we can talk about my beads first, the beads first. Great. You know, you can see the different uh, colors of uh, beads. You know, but the most important one is the white one. The white okay. Okay. one means she's still a virgin yes and she's pure mm -hmm. and uh, of course uh, our cultural expert is gonna help us unpack you know the importance of uh, beads the importance of the animal skins in this mm -hmm. kind of uh, ceremonies the importance of the of the shield of the arrow you know of the gnopkiri and all those things you know like the um, weapons the Zulu weapons yeah know. Yeah, I definitely have a knob curry on our desk, but unfortunately, <laughs> I've only got two hands today. Um, so, so, so in terms of um, the ladies now, as you can see on your screens, they're now sitting there waiting um, to be addressed by the king. What sort of um, message is the king going to relay? I, I, I think the message that is going to be like uh, um, 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 from the king, uh, you know, abstain, behave, mm. uh, go to school, get education, you know, yeah. respect at home, respect at school. Respect the elders. Shoni pani uyi shono nyongo uzinsu uzinu zandezwe. Well, Jenga Manje, I think we must um, um, introduce our cultural expert, Ubaba Undela um, Njangase. Uh, um, he was a lecturer at UKZN and uh, he uh, dealt a lot with uh, Zulu language. Yep. Thank you very much for joining us um, and welcome. Hello. Nam Ningan Bingalela at La Polani Corner and Bingalela can in Ababugil Sebebunga. Can you hear me? Yes, loud and clear. Loud and clear. Thank loud you clear. so much for joining us okay. here on the SABC. Yeah. Um, throughout the morning, in fact, we have been watching, you know, mm. the um, Gosi Wamshanga unfold. Um, beautiful live visuals coming through from Nongoma. And you've obviously been watching as this, uh, this procession has been taking place. And, and I wonder, based on where we are at in terms of what's unfolding, what next can we expect ahead of the King's Address? Uh... Maybe I'll be more comfortable if I were to give a definition of what Mkosomtanga is, mm. so that we are on the same uh, level. Mm. And Mkosomtanga is a ceremony which seeks to celebrate the origins of human beings in this world. It is also a prayer, like Vusi was saying, directed to the ancestral spirit as well as God, thanking ancestral spirit and God for the perpetuation of this human species. And in addition, the prayer, the content of the prayer, again, is that they, uh, they also request, politely request ancestral spirit and God to continue guiding them and also protecting them so that the people then will live happily thereafter. Now to come back to what you have uh, uh, you have asked, you were saying, if I heard you correctly, you were asking what the, 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 the king, his majesty, the king, is about to say. The, uh, normally, we will expect, like uh, Vuslanga said, that in this, in this platform, he is going first to, uh, he will begin by thanking the girls for their good behavior and also advising them to continue doing so until they are adults, women or wives and so forth. So that's what he's going to start with. And also it provides him the platform to address any so societal issues, if they are any, be it positive or be it negative. For example, like why? Like uh, the gender-based violence thing, he may speak about that as well. He spoke in the first um, in the, the, the first um, language which occurred in, in Guavuma. He may also address the issues of like teenage pregnancy. He may also address the issues of like crime and substance abuse. He may also go on uh, even address the issue of a low service delivery, uh, the, the, the pace in which service delivery is then at, uh, uh, 
directed to the community, respective communities. He may address all that. Mm. If there are any important announcements that he feels that he must uh, uh, announce them to the nation, this is a good platform as well. That's what we are, expe we are expecting for him to address. Mm. Uh, Mkazi. Uh, Sibamba umkoso mshanga genyanga umandulo. Inyangu umandulo uh, ukala konyage mtu ini onsu undu. E mtu nwase Afrika. Uh, umtu yeah. onsu undu utabige mshangini. Uh, Siche yeah. le mkazu kuti why read? Why read kulo mkosi lo? Wea kona gege umshanga njogu sushi. Kulo mkosi umshanga. Pela ilapo abandu bata abu kona njogu sushi. Ngako we gulum kulum kosi, usuwe gubungazwa, imvela pi ya bandu. Na alipela neka ma eh, lesizul, eliti, ukalu, olususu gultile lom, lom, lom shang. Uma alipela elelelika ma lishu guti, ukalu luempilo ya banda wa mnyama, ya akala emtange. Ogu shukutike o koko no koko gazba kutala, bata wukagona umtange lo. Okulumangawe. Hinga kwa umsanga oba legile uma kukutwa lumkosi. Ngoba umsanga umele inubegele, in, umele indabuga ya bandi bata bugapi, umele futi inubegele pambili yukupila guwabo. Njalo njalo. Ngama ya makama isimila lesi inubegele. Njalo 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 Akazi futukona lumundu ak eka umsanga eo pagelimbu zao no mayen ngoba umsanga unobunguelu uguna loko si esbone abela pendabugu beu seven sela ugla pa abandu jengo njengu tinje bake ukato ngao uba dega dialogu lumkosi umsanga. Um, Ubaba Unjanga se Elisa uh, Nawe mm. Bugelikaya and you if you are at home. Um he's he's, he's talking about the importance of uh, uh, of the read. Yes. We can use any other type of grass, but this one, um it's the origin of uh, uh, um, the black African people and uh, um, uh, um, uh, you, you cannot just uh, use it for any other things uh, um, uh, whenever these floods it, it doesn't flood yeah. it stays uh, exactly where it's supposed to be and uh, um, uh, is very important to, 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 to us as black um, Africans that's mm. what he says you know, and so on the back of that, Vusa and Mbamdela, I actually wanted to look at the difference in practice between, let's say, the Swati nation versus um, the Zulu nation. Earlier on, our reporter, J.D. Pulsar, was speaking to some of the maidens who, mm. you know, hailed from Eswatini. And in terms of, you know, how the different the practices, uh, or how the different practices, um, you know, differ somewhat, can, can you explain and walk us through what that signifies, and, and if so, why? Uh, you remember that you are mentioning the Swati, the, the, the Swati people. Mm. And then the Swati people are at rather an offshoot of the Nguni people, so mm. as the Zulu people. In terms of practices of addressing the Umtanga, it may differ according to their culture, how they practice uh, and so forth. But the main and the reason why it is done is the same. The same for the Swati people, the same for the Ndebele people, the same for the Kosa people, and the same for all the Nguni peoples. Even the Sutu people, if at all, a way back they used to celebrate this, it was the same. But the practices themselves may slightly differ, but in most cases they, they overlap. There is a lot of singing, which we will see in any open Kosam Tranga, and then there is a lot of a traditional word which you will see this in all, uh, anywhere, and then also the platform for the various kings and elders, and then they do the same thing. So it is mainly the same in which it is done, but there are a few uh, different practices because of the, the differences in terms of uh, the, the, the distance. You will see in the, the type of where that they do, you can tell that this must be a Swati person, this must be a Zulu, this must be a Tosa and so forth. But those differences don't mean anything uh, important except that they all the same in terms of addressing this ceremony called Muskosum Trak. in Jongoyao, Iefan, if I can put it like that in Zulu. Mkazi, but I guess Pege Manje, Invunulo ekowe is in Tombi, Lapo Enyogeni. Isuga Shugen in Bala Yopsal. 
khona umhlalo obuhlala obuhlaza khona obubomvu khona bumhlophe ungasichazela mhlambi kakhulukazi ngani lobo bumhlophe ukuthi buchazani entombini mangabe ibuqokile ah ngiyajabula ubuze ukuthi ubuze lo mbuzo ubuhlalo bumhlophe noma umbala omhlophe lesi uyibonayo lapho isho ubumsulwa bentombazana ubumsulwa ke kusho ukuthi into ise intombi nto ubusho njalo ubuhlalo lobo yikubona nje kuyibona obubuningi in other words the white color is dominant as you see them as well now if you were to talk about green if the the color green represent also the the fertility of the land if you may put it like that uh, it represents that, and hence it's a green color. The red color, sometimes others are saying, although you may enjoy living in this world, but there are other dangerous situations on your way. You must always be careful. Well, uh, Babu Mkaz has just made my job very easy. White means purity. Mm. White means she's still a virgin. Yes. Yeah. Green fertility. Yes. Um, amongst, you know, there's just a little nuances and, mm. and detail that really bring, you know, to the rich, add to the richness mm. of the culture and the history and the tradition. Um, I, I'm not sure about yours you're wearing there. <laughs> I'm, I'm an amalgamation of everything. Yeah. We are proudly, loudly and proudly South African. But it's, yes. it's so beautiful to see how, you know, the, 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 the culture can be expressed in so many different languages. Bamdela, we're going to just a pause on the conversation for now. Let's cross live to some of the visuals that are on our screens where um, the Umgosi Womhlanga is currently unfolding. Let's see what the latest is on that front. conversation off air right now uh, we can hear the praise songs coming through it's celebration really really joyous atmosphere at this mm. point I wonder if you could perhaps um, for those who are not privy to to understanding what 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 the maidens are currently saying what do these praise songs ultimately allude to right now it's it's, it's a happy song uh, it's okay. a happy song okay. um, I, I, I suppose they mean um, at, at, like uh, in sunset we've already and we are happy that we've presented uh, our read uh, to the king you know um, 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 you know mm -hmm. that's what they say okay. um, and, and and maybe we can uh, bring in uh, Ubaba Umkazi just to ask him uh, Uguti, uh, what do they do with the reeds uh, after the ceremony mm -hmm. and then there's a belief that um, when a maiden carries the, the weed and then it breaks it means she's not on I don't I don't know about that maybe uh, Ubaba Umkazi can help us understand that sure again we took some of the myths and, and legends mm -hmm. that also come with um, some of the, the practices unfolding um, Bamdela if you can hear us uh, perhaps we want to bring you back into the into the conversation um Vus, do you want to just address it to him because when funa mthambe angazi mubusi silalele eni sikhuluma ukuthi nazo kweziwani ngale mhlanga le ngaka ekhiwe yazobekwa esilweni emva komkhulu normally it's the king who will say what should be done with the mhlanga 
in it previously i did follow that one up they will leave umhlanga there to dry and then thereafter they may use it it's either to make a fence they may use it on part of uh, using it as a as a to dash a particular uh, house or even for decoration of some sort but definitely it is never banned they don't ban it because like i've said um, 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 on its own in a way it is a sacred plant so they don't do that but it is a useful a thing like i've just said creating a fence creating gates if need be or even using using it as a, a dash mm. This is definitely one of, uh, you know, those moments that serve as a bridge or unifying factor force between the king, who's obviously attending his first Mkosi um, Womhlanga, and perhaps, you know, th those in the Zulu nation. And so, as you mentioned, um, there are going to be a lot of important themes that will be coming through as the king addresses mm. those in attendance, mm. those who are watching. And, you know, as we, as we look at some of the critiques um, and questions that have also arisen, perhaps um, amongst um, many other things re in relation to the to the Umkosi Womhlanga. I, I want to perhaps bring in the issue of um, how we protect women, particularly as you know they are presented in a particular way. I'm only asking this because we are in an era of social media mm. and the likelihood of you know pornographic material. Perhaps also the issue of Poppy Act comes into play if these images are being distributed. How would you weigh in on that, um, Babindela? Yes, I'm glad you are bringing this question of how to protect women. Women, uh, including the girls, they are protected in various ways in terms of the, the culture of the black people, uh, to be specific, Southern black people in, here in South Africa. Number one, uh, when there are wars, tribal wars, and then they go, they don't go to wars. That is some uh, one way of protecting protecting them. Even if perhaps one uh, tribe is being defeated, they are not killed. So as children as well, that is one way of protecting them. Right now, where you are, there are lots of regiments, Amabud. They are there to protect those girls that are that you see there. And then I can assure you that no one will molest or even rape a girl because they are there. That's how they are being protected. Generally, the women are being protected even at their various homes, traditionally, just like beating a wife and so forth. If a man culturally is beating a wife, first they will tell him to stop the nonsense. If he continues, the other man will come along and give him the taste of this poison that he is poisoning the wife. And I tell you, I've, we have seen this uh, in many times, that such men then will, will stop. But however, in this democratic uh, uh, way of uh, 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 rulership system, where they say sometimes uh, you don't take law into uh, your hands. Sometimes that's where it will happen because if you call the law enforcement agencies, sometimes they take a long time to come. But I can tell you, I can assure you, in the communities, mainly in the rural uh, communities, there are no such. Once you 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 you, you mistreat the girls in terms of uh, exerting a violence or whatever, then quickly the other male, men will come in and deal with you. That's how the women are being protected. Uh, still talking about women, um, we um, earlier on we spoke about uh, the, 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 the maidens uh, leaders all yes. begin. Uh, how important they are uh, in terms of uh, the uh, the red dance uh, because these maidens cannot just go there alone you know they need to have leaders mkazi ubumqoka bobheke in beyintombi ngiyacabanga ukuthi akeke zivele ziyele zona lapha na enyokeni kumele kube khona obhekene abayibhekayo kukhanjiswana nama processes aqalayo kusesele endaweni ebesuka kuzona beze bezofika enyokeni Ibona 
la pola isuga kona. I put kuwe kwenye ngovu na kuseti wa kuwe inyoge ni indela yopi. Isngani ziyafundi iswa indela ende yopi kuluma ngendo kakuluga. So inga kuhoge beba kona agena abo bezo pega kuti ngembela aiki ngani epimis e e e sandi. Kanja lo futa ge kumundo ofunukumeza ingani uma begbone lo bone ugodi na asiskanga sunuka. By a kitchen, my baby will be a cuba figure, abacona, lapogalesos car. Who can see him bed? Um, sevens where we are no man, who beso velo uxilu. Goba Uwenza Abuganji, Uwenza Castle Wabuganje, and I went by Veloxon. You go on now, Uwenza, Unukunam Pumele Mish, Impumela Minle Emitre, Nango or Kala, Lesisangane as Balwa, Nalaba, Octua, a teenage pregnancy. Hindu and Tegele, Lesis Nana as Balwa, Nalabo Abbas Botta, Gestagamis, Utwala, Ganya, and Matrax, Agunjan, Obas Fundisagil, Utia Puchelas, Yafundis, Bessabuz, Zobag, Minagagi, Bizen, Utum Tambeg, Ufola Wendo. Qui into your clean a lay, or to a car, a pe, Ogono Kul, Lessing and Light Kangas or Corner, is all a lis. As Pega Gisile passes called with Hambaranjan, Nagos and Shelo with his keeper, Ingan, Umun Vespasano, O Omu Shagabi Gabi, Ozobang Oscars, Omu Shagas Katizangoba, Ufundisegi. And because why is it so important for um, a, a, a young girls to be part of this uh, process? Hey, the young girls are important. Maybe let me start at rather. Uh, a, a, a larger or higher uh, level of this. Let's call it this way. Any female species is important because it guarantees the perpetuation, perpetuation of that particular species. Generally, that's what happens. In daughter, if you get in the imbe, I shouldn't say in a imbe, um, um, fertile body, I shouldn't remember limbe, I and zishu embryo. A pin, I shouldn't have food, lele, 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 fully embryo, I and zube, inga, numba, who said ye and a a pin, they and a food, man, have a simple, one, a simple, two, who are we and umna again, I young kids, we are no good. The first uh, uh, years of a child. Is where Gama Yamakama, Ipegale, no man. He called the Bandagi and this was an any nation, Jehovah Way was allowed. He sees us now another game about this was that. This was his Sia, Pasia, Kabalan, as no massive pillar that was saluted, into the Ubuwa in Nubuwa. What a lesson is us to be alive with about this was that. Who saw her pants and Tobas and then was a young figure as I was in by another game. All right, so Vus, you obviously asked um, Babandela about the, you know, the older women who play a significant role in, in leading the uh, young maidens and course, also, yes. you know, why the, the maidens should unfold. Would Lucy translate what it is he just um, um, alluded he's, to? He's talking about, you know, old, older women, you know, they, 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 they act as guards, they act as uh, guiders, and they, they act as teachers as well, as protectors uh, to, to these maidens mm -hmm. um, um, from, from um, where they come from. Um, um, uh, along the way uh, to Enyogeni and uh, to the process of handing the reed to the king. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Because it, it, it then brings in my next question about, you know, Babandela, how do we not place a burden on the maidens to be part of, uh, you know, the virginity testing and then approving their virginity and also protecting it as a result. Um, how would you weigh in on that? I'm only asking that because, you know, we, we do live in a society that is governed by patriarchy. And so the issue of autonomy and submission really comes into play as we look at it in relation to tradition and perhaps the results it's yielded in 2022. That's right. I think I've alluded that when I was talking to you and some of the issues. Okay. The, the person. But let me repeat again okay. in English. You see, the importance of virginity on its own, the, the virginity test, the so-called virginity testing is very, very important. Mm. Because having taught, 
you want to test as well. That's what they do in education as well, schools, universities, you name it and so forth. When you have taught, you want to test if uh, the teaching indeed has some fruitful uh, uh, outcomes. So hence virginity testing. The virginity testing on its own, some of those girls that they do have boyfriends, those, those that are rather old and others at the age of say about 16 and above, they do have those. But because the boys know that somehow within three months or so, uh, these girls will go for this virginity testing. So they have seen they will not penetrate them whatsoever, but the boys themselves becomes the, the guardians of these girls as well. So until they, 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 they grow and become old, so that they become the good uh, wives and mamas and so forth. That's what is important about all this. Uh, earlier on, I was asked that, but the health work organization seemed to be saying there is no scientific proof, proof uh, regarding the, the, this virginity testing. Well, that is their andaba. It's not our andaba because it, it helps us. It, it, it bears a very good fruit about this thing. I've already mentioned how this is, is, is being done. So by doing this virginity testing, by the way, let me emphasize, emphasize, it's not a forced issue. It's a, a, a voluntary. Mm. It is done voluntarily to a girl. Amongst those girls that you see there, none of them that they have been forced to attend or even go this virginity testing in their respective areas. Yes. I am saying this because our journalists, including you yourself there, up until now, you have never come across, I've never seen any headings in the print media saying a group of girls were, were forced to go undergo this virginity testing. No, it's not. It's a voluntary thing amongst themselves as well, so as the parents as well. So well, I've never seen it on the television news again. Even a single girl saying, I've been forced to attend Unkos Wongranga. Had it been not that, I would not be part of this. No. It be, why? It's because it is a voluntary thing that they do. It's a choice. Mm. And in our constitution, it is enshrined that any person, you have a right to choose what to do and your, your lifestyle, as long as you are not interfering negatively with the other people. Um, Della, thank you so much, as always, for your expertise, you know, for that context, because it's very important to, you know, challenge some of the narratives, perceptions that, uh, you know, due to ignorance or lack of education, sometimes pervade uh, mainstream media. And so this is why we, we have these conversations, you know, to, to probably unpack and, and unlearn, le learn and relearn, um, perhaps especially as we go back to understanding heritage and tradition. You know where you're going when you understand where you come from. Mm. Um, the conversation is not over. Yes, yes I'm sorry, Bob yes. Mudela, you wanted to add. You wanted to add something. Yes, I want. To, yes, uh, uh, quickly, I just want to say something. Like you, you both of you have alluded to this one, and Mukosum is also a unite. Uh, uh, it's a uniting force, a very yes. strong one as well, because here you will see the people who are so associate themselves with this culture with this ceremony as well and then they see that no we need to be one we need we need to fight all other things that divide us it doesn't matter in which angle and in color in any form they come along no it doesn't happen like that this is a unite a, a uniting force the ceremony itself mm -hmm. and also it also pre uh, present the sense of belonging for these young maidens the sense of belonging on its own I belong to this Umkosom uh, Tanga group, so I must make it a point that in my behavior, I do not associate myself with any forms of misbehaving and so forth. So it is also doing that sense of belonging. Going further than that from the maidens, even the people that the audience, the Amabuto, the spectators and so forth, it also encourage that sense of belonging for them as well. Uh, Mkazi, um, during the reign of uh, uh, King Zuli Tinga Peguzulu, um, the young princess will be the first uh, maiden to present the, the reed to the king. Um, king Misuzulu uh, Gazuli Tin is his first uh, reed dance ceremony um, uh, this year. Ukabanguti mtlampe kona, okshinchi ile mtlampe uti aksesi indo inkosazana, engane etulu mtlanga pamwesilu. 
Angazi, Anzang and Bon, and Oma Utulu, Omunio Mundonga Kamugi, and Junko. Go to a gay, Uman Abbegenze, or Buben and Bella, as this Rang of Bewing in Umbuana Loy, or Tula Log. Abu Kububi, Boba Busu to Ukogi, Nile, in Zungulu, if Nile, so is still a Siawaslo. The corner is that as a good Bagwens, a local Umagwens and Jan, Port and Jamoba Ush, Gangwaello. And Gescati, you still is a smoothie, a Uzultin, Gapeguzu, a Vuselera Lumcosi, a Beguia Gube Umquad, O Kamga and Ungu, O Negeza, a silo, Umtanga, Law. What I get a go, she put in a section G. Mutambing guns, I go back to the Roman Jango, who is that presence of Bowen's a log. What an Oakland allows, Sanga born a foot, whom Duana, or a Tula Umtanga, a slowy. The youngest uh, princess, mm. uh, who's the first person or maiden uh, to present the read to to the king, uh, but right. unfortunately today we couldn't see that. But he hopes uh, nothing has changed. Mm. Mm. Well, Bob Mdela, please um, hang on a little longer. We're still in conversation with you as the um, you know proceedings and ceremony takes place. But we also have reporters stationed in Nongoma, and they also you know have the latest with regards to to really what is transpiring there, Vusi. Mm. Bongani Gema is one of our reporters. Earlier on, we spoke to JD Pulsar. Yeah. Uh, let's bring Bongani Gema into, into the conversation now. Perhaps you can tell us where you are, Bongani. What are you witnessing at this point, perhaps as we await the, the uh, address by the King, Mrs. Zulu Kazuelitini? Oh, well, thank you. I am stationed at the field where King Misu Zulu is going to be addressing the maidens who have just uh, handed over their reeds. Many of them have now descended to the field. They are seated here receiving their uh, refreshments, I guess, because you can imagine how hungry they may be right now. So they are getting fruits you know, and juice to, pre to prepare them, you know, for we don't know how long, you know, the king is going to be addressing the maidens. You remember that last time the king took a very uh, a short while uh, to talk to the maidens. He said, that you know the bulk of this occasion should be used you know to just let the maidens dance and celebrate because for them this is an achievement so in a few minutes once all the maidens have seated here the king will also descend also with all the dignitaries that are part of the ceremony and other members of the royal house they'll be seated at that stadium there to see over there the king will be addressing the maidens there but i also have with me a maiden who's just handed over uh, her read I'm 29 years old, ending years old, ending since from 2008 until now, and since I mean, this is the Well, there you have it. This one of the maidens who's just handed over her is saying that she's very excited to be part of this ceremony once again, saying, saying also adding that she's prepared, you know, to stay on and, and, and continue with this journey saying that the skills that she's getting from being part of the maidens have changed her life and make sure that she remains protected. We're expecting many more maidens to come you know, down here. I cannot yet confirm if the number that they were expecting really did turn out today, but it seems that many maidens did make their way because I can see many of them did not carry uh, their reeds or maybe they left them behind because when you walk around the streets to going up to the palace, you can see some reeds that you know have been left behind, maybe maidens who just you no know, felt tired, you no know, could could not make it up to the Royal Palace. But we'll stay here and bring you the latest. Ogani Gemma, thank you very much for that update. Again, lots of colourful festivities, a joyous mm -hmm. occasion right now in Ongoma.
where Mkosi uh, Womhlanga is currently taking place. We are awaiting the King's address, mm. King Mrs. Uluka Zuelatini, the 38th edition of this, his first. And, uh, you know, it's obviously sparking a lot of conversations that uh, touch on, touches on a few themes mm. affecting society. And, you know, we, we need to get into that Vusi as we perhaps just look at some of the critiques again, but also some of the, um, you know, groups that are for it. Uh, the SABC, in fact, also receiving quite a number of um, feedback in terms of what's being shown yes. and uh, how it's being perceived. Mm. Perhaps we, 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 we must ask uh, uh, Ubaba Umkazi mm. about, you know, um, people that do not understand the, the, the attire the attire of the whole uh, process, um, as you can see in Dombi, Zik, Mbele, Fagubshalo, Kufela, Yonke, Indo, Nanoguti, Mkazi, Una Bantu, Abati, I, Maui, Alapana, we all keta in Dombi. How can you respond to such critiques or such questions? Gautan, and Gelu Ukara, and Alumus, or Kote, Impela Bundano, Konavanda, but Umkosum Sanga, Baziba, Pali, Pans. Lava Bangas Gash and our Umkos Bazaba Pan would die Umkosum Sanga when Zelua Ubuti in Kos, Ikato Omunio Umpazwayo, Olandela Umkosum Sanga and Zelua Ubuti Namato Abuya Fruit now as Otata in Ganes as Nane Jalunja, Ha, Alon Genisole Aglona Abu Nice Zatus in August of Wenzel Umkosum. Casilo, Ubutum Cosunta, when Zelo Ubungaz, Invela, P. Yaband, Ubata, Numtanda, Old Now, Osugo Ubonga, Upin the Futu Uke, whatever number sing a tanner. What were gay? Abunachi, Umuntumabonin, Umbafis, Ubufis, Wishella, La, Saint Kuman and Sis, Abunachi, Ubutan, Wenza. Kuzolandela, Uvez and Jay is more or less so bad. He still was a sebuzi, who's will tin up a boozy. Abogaz and Gukam, Utom Yon, Ubaka, Ubaka, and Tangi. Napo Fagas, Utuka, Lumkosa, Wednesday, and Wado. Quote and Jay, and guessing his body by the way. Maubona went back into a book, his good night hatter. We and the Unkoskas, Uzolandelag, Intela, Yako, Umuswapo, Ubun, Jalo. As is again for Nulu. If for Nulu, Jongoba, a cat and Vula, Bebu, and Belagatu, and it in for Nulu, Isho is Zikava to start with. The Zikava would to sex if we is car. Jenga and Jamanto Mazanelao, a I in Tom Bindo, who show is Kava in Nula Pato and Gayo, or who's a born good to Ukona, in for Nula in Umbala Home Shop, Mrs. Cazil and Rusu T, who's a born a best and Guya food in Umbala. Uti Akamda, Uma Abe Kamba has sent away in Galeganesa, Tamijan as a couple, Uzobonu Koral, Eswazin, Uzobonu Koral, a new Casella or Noma Machuba, Uzobonu Koral, would Lana Reba Koraganje, Ganje Ganje, or a yin yin, his cab of banan, Tanjalo Nendo, Nazo food, Infunodo Eas, Bona High would Ige, Seguin Tom Besiquin Jule, Udu Ige, Lo, Sogun Poscas, Lo, or Set Hatti when I, Infunodo Esho, Ganjalana, Nabban Beslisa food, Kunjan, Umfana, Bona Gogako, Umfana Lonens, who was a girl for Gendoti, who's a girl for the day, or I knew, or Eternus Cava, Jalunja. Perhaps, Lizelle, uh, you, you, can, you can put that question to, to Umkazi um, because he uh, focused on the attire and what is under the, the attire and uh, uh, perhaps that question can address that. All right, so, so um, Dela, just on the back of that, then, you know, we, we just wanted to see how you weigh in on the fact that or how would you respond to people who you know, who are of the view that the Mkosi um, Womhlanga 
as uh, da the read dance is a display of nudity. Um, the SABC as a public broadcaster, you know, have received some complaints, continue to receive some complaints um, from, from sectors in the, of South Africa's community that we, we are ultimately displaying nudity. Uh, my starting point, it would be better if poor people can give the definition what we need to be talking about. Uh, or is it half naked if they are talking about or complete nudity? Because we have never seen any complete nudity, even on these uh, television shows, even if one is there. We have never seen that. But however, to address that, it is not a, a, a nudity thing. You see, it is a dress code. Before the white settlers came here, then people were wearing uh, what they regarded themselves that no, it is proper. In other words, let's look at the men who are wearing skins. Look at them as well that they are showing their, their tummy, their stomachs as well. They are also showing their chest if need be. And some of them, you, you, you can't call that nudity. When it comes then to maidens themselves, you can't say nudity because you are seeing breasts. In our culture, in other words, the African culture, a breast of a, a, a young, one, young one, even the, the, the elder one, doesn't indicate nudity. So those people are taking their sentiments regarding their culture, and then they are now imposing it here, and then they say it is nudity. It is not nudity at all to the people who belong to this particular culture. Uh, I, I may just respond like that. For me, it is, they need to do all this research. Why they call it white, white girls and dress like this, the maidens dress like this and so forth. In no way it is a new DG. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you yeah, for those well sentiments. So. Um, you know, we're just being asked to perhaps look at what's tra currently transpiring on our screens. But um, again, throughout the, the afternoon, cultural experts uh, Bamdela and Changase just giving us and weighing in on some of the important nuances that come with commemorating and celebrating, you know, this uh, this redance uh, actually called the um, Gosi Wamhlanga. On your screens now are uh, some Amahubo songs that are currently being uh, praised and sung. Let's take a listen. Vusi, uh, on our screens right now, we've seen the maidens really making their way in uh, songs and praise um, on our way to, on their way rather, to the stadium. Again, as we alluded to, uh, awaiting the king's address, the first for King Mr. Zulu Kazuelatini. And, uh, you know, we're really seeing the royal family in attendance um, also um, coming to celebrate this important milestone for uh, you know maidens within the Zulu culture but also as it is the king's first address at uh, the 38th edition um, um <laughs> as someone um you were, Busi, you were just saying okay. Yeah, um, I was hoping um, the lady there was going to uh, to speak and maybe direct um, as to what is going to be happening now. Maybe we can go back to uh, Ubaba Unjangase and ask him about um, the, 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 the Umkulego we see. We, we, we saw the king coming out of the uh, traditional heart yes. and there were praise singers, uh, praise singing um, the, 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 the kings and uh, uh, there were also uh, war songs, uh, maybe before uh, we go back to Wanongoma and, um, and, and, and hear what um, the king is going to say. As we are going to say, 
Ugutinga Pamuba Enze Umsebezi, I am Samo Lapana, Ayukuruma Naba Pans, Leandela Ebienzua, E Oba Balapa, Uba Buze Chain, Mleje, Bewin de Leo Kuleg. Yeah, Bunjan Bell and Jungoba Ushul. Jungoba could be a shell. I guess it is born as Bongo as a Macos. Ila Polas born a corner, Ubunjalo Bengos. Oba is in Bong, Zina, Long Kuleg, or good Zish, Zos, or Mclambe, or Kula Wango, City Kuler and Jani, as his quinta scenes were put in the wood together, Yen and Ubuntu Bak, a singer for India was part, Ungundo and Jan, Ziswa Kolalap as Bongwe. Uma Abege who hire is Bong, is in Bong. We were told our good Tim Clambe as a high low or corner, who hire Namanya Makos as a la. He called a pogum, Kule, Mobesu, babies, one ab, what was an Pelanjova said Catamuti, Bangamatos, a seas, was an inani, Nam Kum Kulego, Umkulu, Ogu, one, a soup on the same Marosini, a seas were in Nagum Villina. Who so shog a leg, which is Silos Puma, engine a tea. He lapo, Galate, corn, sing a banga, I would in the banga, Yaz would be sense of Umkule, what a long Kulego, a worn Kulego of Lele. Wonke Umun, Jungle Sushi, Loguti, Nabo Goba Bumze, Ogi Bonas of the Higher Gagan, Nezibong, Zamania Macos, Asa Kota, Macos and Jango Shaga, we are Uzo, Bagay Bakin de Loco, Ungakubegus, your figure, and Nabuzo Ban, Lo Osando Webusa. He will pay a Mukuleg law, also look on the civil, being Shilog and give Vula and Awood, or any in Grenia Lomkos, Ium Kuleb, Lomkos, Lomkosi, Unabo Food Ubunwe. La Pocona who bong, we are not umbrilling man. Who would see a bong, who would see a bong, but is this in so good as your family. La Pocona would tell of food to good. Kubega again belong in our majors. Miss Singer, the lesser Sizzle, Singer Shabalan, hold the school is in the bar. He look all gay in Pendulum is on Thank you very much, Mkazi. We'll come back to you. Uh, we were talking about uh, praise singing as, 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 as part of praying in an African tradition. Um, um, I think we must go back to one woman. Yeah, Puff, uh, I'm sorry, um, Bob Mdela, thank you so much for, for joining us here on the SABC and for being with us throughout the, the afternoon. It's been an absolute pleasure. Thank you for being part of educating the nation as well and really helping us understand the significance of what is transpiring today. Um, the, again, we're going to go back, as you alluded to, Vusi, to, to some of those live visuals that are coming through. Mgosi um, Wom Hlanga, it's the 38th edition taking place in Nongoma, KwaZulu Natal. And your gain. Okay. Uh, um, maybe um, we can maybe go back to the the, the, the importance of the royal palaces. Uh, we're talking about um, also to royal palace, the Masasa royal palace, Kwaketum Tanda royal palace, Kwakangela Mangengane, Enyo Gane, where the red dance is currently happening. Elin Duzulu, Ondi Nasema Kobe. Why are royal houses, uh, palaces actually? Um, so important mm. um, in this kind of uh, uh, ceremonies in the in this little kingdom. Oh, absolutely. I think just before we get there, let's, let's just take a listen in to uh, some of those praise songs that are currently transpiring.